Hey everyone, it's the Urban Window Farmer. For this video, I'm going to be planting some more plants in the Martian Tower Garden. I'm going to plant some collards. I'm also going to plant some uh, bok choy in the tower. Um, and then I'm also going to plant uh, some pea plants in the Martian Tower Garden. Um, so I've already harvested a few plants and I uh, have some empty grow slots so I decided to go with three, these three plants. Alright so first step is to grab the uh, rapid rooter uh, plant starter and you can see there's a little hole in the middle that's where I usually place the seed so I just uh, I use this stick right here because the, the uh, collard green and the pak choy seeds are extremely small They're a little bit hard to handle uh, precisely so I take the stick dip it in water and that makes the seat stick to the uh, wooden stick and then I just drop a couple seeds in in the hole there and that's basically all there is to it um, I also place it in my uh, two inch net pot and then uh, later on I'll put them all in the tower I'll show you guys that step in a second so I put about uh, two or three seeds in each um, of the rapid root uh, plant starters. So I'm going to take a couple more of the collard green seeds, dip it in water, of course, so that the seeds will stick to the stick. And then place them in the plug get one more seed in there and if I do get 100% germination what I'll do later is I will um, just thin out the ones uh, probably I'll thin out the weakest plants and I'll, I'll try to save them like I did before but I'll try to thin them out and then I'll attempt to replant the additional seedlings in their own pods. So next I'll start planting the pak choy seeds. You'll notice the pak choy and the collard green seeds look very similar. So following the same method, I'll grab my rabbit rooter pod, uh, grab my stick, place it in water, and then grab a seed and put it inside of the pod. Go with one more seed, place it inside the pod, and we're good to go. So let me move these over, um, and I'm going to do one more pak choy. repeating the same method. And that's pretty easy. Some people will uh, sprout their plants outside of their tower, uh, but I've had some pretty good success with, with uh, sprouting my plants inside of the tower. Um, so I'll show you the way that I do it in a second. First, let me get all these seeds in, in their pods. So the pea plant seeds are a little bit bigger, so I have to widen the opening a little bit. And I'm only going to use one seed per, per pod. Because there wouldn't be room for two to sprout in there. So I'm just going to use one. If it doesn't germinate, um, that's just the risk I'll take. All right, so I have one more to do. So same process, I have to widen the hole a little bit and then I'm just gonna add one seed in the center of the pod. All right, so we are good to go. So we, are, we have six plants, I mean six seedlings that are ready to be placed into the tower. So let me walk over to the tower and put them in. 
I have a few empty spaces in the Martian Tower garden from lettuce and green onions that I've already harvested. So what I'm going to do now is remove the net pot cover. And then I'm going to add the two inch net pot in the Martian Tower garden. And lastly, I need to add the net pot humidity dome. The humidity dome helps with germination so that I can plant directly in the Martian Tower garden. Okay, some gardeners prefer to start their seedlings in a tray, then transfer into the tower. That method is also good, but with grow domes, I'm able to kind of bypass that step. And I think it also minimizes the transplant shock on the plant when it moves from one environment to another environment. Okay, so I've added all of the collard plants to the Martian Tower Garden. Now I'm going to add the bok choy plants. So I'm going to add one here. I remove the net pot cover. And then add the two inch net pot with the bok choy seeds. And then place the grow dome on top. And this section of the tower has very good light as you can see, so I think this will be very good for bok choy, which bok choy does like to have a um, pretty good lighting situation. And then I will place the second bok choy plant in this section of the tower. It's surrounded by the passion vines, but hopefully it can outcompete the passion vine once it gets to a large enough size. But uh, you can see the, the light is right there, so it's a good position, uh, really high light. Uh, so I, in my opinion, I think it should do well. And last but not least, we have the pea plant. I've never actually grown a pea plant um, indoors or even outdoors. Uh, so this will be a, a first for me. So. I know it's a vine, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to compete with the passion vines. The tendrils might fight with each other, but uh, let, let's see what happens. So I'm going to place one here in the tower. Um, I know that uh, pea plants like high, high light and they, they like um, kind of moderate climate, so I think they should do well indoors. And I'm going to place the other pea plant right next to it. And if I have to move it later, that's one good thing about the Martian Tower Garden is I can move things around if I need to. So you guys all know the process by now. I add the two inch net pot. And lastly, I'm going to add the humidity dome. So that's all I'm gonna plant for today. And I'm gonna monitor these and I will keep you all updated on the progress. All right, thank you all for sticking around. And if you do like this kind of content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And I'll leave you guys with some other videos that you may find interesting. Thanks for watching.